You're probably already aware that building an email list is a very important part of building an online business. And a great way to do that is with a pop-up. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a fantastic looking pop-up, one that looks just like this, that you can add to your website using a free WordPress plugin. It's really easy to do. The plugin uses the block editor, so it makes it really straightforward to create something that looks just as you want it to. I'm also going to be using another plugin, a free form plugin, so that we can add a, a form to the plugin, because you're probably going to want that, so that you can collect some email addresses. And this form plugin hooks up to most of the common email providers. So maybe you're using Constant Contact, maybe you're using MailChimp, maybe you're using something like that, which I'm sure you are to build your email list. You can easily hook up the form into one of those systems. So let's jump on the computer. Let's get a pop-up set up. I'm going to take you through it step by step in basically real time. Just create a pop-up on the fly. I'm going to show you how easy it is. Let's go. So for this tutorial, I've got this site here. It's not a real site. It's just one that I used to play around with. And um, yeah, it's just a vanilla install just running the 2024 theme. And, and this pop-up builder will work with with any theme. And in fact, Spectra is what we're going to be using. And it's much more than a pop-up builder. The pop-ups are just one feature of it. I did a video, by the way, on Spectra, my first look at Spectra just the other month, maybe. I'll put a link up, go take a look at that video after you've watched this one, of course. So I'm already logged in. Let's install Spectra right now. It's really easy. We just go into the dashboard, go into plugins, go to add new and in the keyword box, type in Spectra. It's the first one that comes up. Let's click Install Now. And then Activate. Okay, that should be all done. We can press Refresh if that's what it wants. Why not? Okay, perfect. Little video all about Spectra. We don't need to watch that right now because what we're really interested in is the pop-up builder. So in here, we can create our new pop-up by clicking Create Pop-up. Close that little thing. And we've got two options. We can either have an info bar, which is a little message across the top of your screen, or the traditional pop-up, which is what we're going to be doing um, today. So let's click on Pop-up. There's our pop-up. It's pretty, pretty vanilla, pretty basic. It might be enough, just as it is. You know, you can just come on. You can change this text to whatever you need it to be. Um, change this uh, button so that it links off to wherever you want it to. You've got all the options over here. So here's the content options. If you want a separator, here's the call to action. And then you stick the link in there to where you want it to go. But I think we need to do something a little bit more sophisticated than this. Now, the good thing is, is that the pop-up builder just uses the block editor. So you can add pretty much any blocks that you like in here and you can really get it looking and feeling and just as you like. Now, the pop-up that I want to build is going to be an email opt-in, which is probably what you're looking to do as well. I'd imagine you probably want more than just a button. You probably want a form that hooks up to your email marketing. So to do that, let's go and install a form plugin right now so that we've got the form ready and then we'll come back and, and build this. So I'm going to go back to the uh, dashboard. We won't save this right now. We'll come back, give it a name and everything in a minute. So let's go into plugins and add new plugin. And the form plugin I'm going to use is WP Forms, but of course this will work with any form plugin. So let's type in WP Forms. It's a free plugin. Click Install Now. And let's create a little form that we can add to the pop-up. There we go, that's activated. Let's refresh. Now, uh, here we are, we're in WP Forms. Let's create our first form. Let's go. And we've got this newsletter sign up form here, which would be absolutely perfect. Let's click use template. Now, of course, we're going to want to configure this a little bit. So let's do that right now. Our name is absolutely fine. In fact, I don't want the, uh, the labels up here. I, I don't want labels. I want to do it slightly different. So I'm going to hide the labels. I'm going to hide the sub labels. And what I'm going to do instead is add a placeholder. I always think that looks nicer. Maybe it's just me. Like that. I also want it to be nice and big. So let's go for large. Let's take a look at the email. 
again i don't want um the uh, labels or the sub labels i'm just going to put a placeholder of your email address there we go absolutely perfect and that's about it i think and check the uh confirmation so at the moment it's just going to say you know thanks for signing up for our newsletter you're going to want it to connect up to whatever email software you're using i guess so if you come into marketing Okay, we need to save, that's fine, let's save. Yeah, go into marketing. You can hook up to Constant Contact and Canny Automator, and then there's all these other ones here, MailChimp, etc. Now, for those you are gonna need the pro version of WP Forms, I'm gonna put a link up right now for that. If you, if you wanna sign up for WP Forms, get the pro version, then you can hook it up to any of these. Uh, but maybe you're using Constant Contact, in which case you are in luck. So in here you would uh, you'd hook it up to your email provider, which I'm not going to do in this uh, this particular video. It's pretty straightforward. You click add new connection and just follow the the, uh, the steps step by step, and you'll be absolutely fine. Okay, let's check our form one last time. Did I make this one big? Let's just double check. No, nope, let's make that nice and big. And uh, yeah, I think that's uh, that's about ready. In fact, the last thing I want to do is change this button that says submit. Submit is not a nice word. Let's change it to uh, oh, get free guide. What I'm going to do is in the form, I'm going to offer something of value, which I would recommend you do as well. It's a great way to encourage people to sign up to your newsletter. So let's go for get free guide. OK, so that's the form all done. Let's close. And then let's go back into Spectra and into the pop-up builder. Let's go back in and edit. So let's give this a title, free guide pop-up. Uh, that's good. And then let's have a play around with this. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna clean this out. I don't, the info box is okay, but I wanna, I wanna try something different. So let's uh, remove that. Okay, that's gone. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some columns. Just want a simple kind of 60, 30 split. In this one, we'll add a nice heading. Get our free guide on how to, let's, let's recapitalize a bit more, how to be cool. Maybe add a little cool emoji, huh? Where's my emojis? There we go. There we go, looks good. Below, we can add a, uh, a little paragraph. Our guide contains everything you need to know on how to be the coolest person in your town. That's pretty good, maybe another line. Don't worry, we never send out spam. Perfect. I like it. Then in this column, I'm going to add a little image. I just knocked one up in Canva. Let me show you. It's just this. I mean, hopefully you'd come up with something better. But yeah, just put that together in Canva. So let's add that. Uh, let's just add an image. Upload. And there it is. Perfect. So now we need to add our, uh, our form. And then we're going to make it a really cool, even cooler than it already is. So uh, down here, I'm going to click on the plus and we're going to add WP form. There it is. Select the form that we created earlier. Like that. Looking nice. Now, you see, we've got this scroll thing going on. I don't like that. I'm not happy with that. So let's go into the pop-up builder settings. I've selected it over here on the left-hand side. And let's just adjust this max height so that it's nice and uh, good. I'm thinking about there might be right. Got a whole load of other options down here in terms of like using the overlay, which I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. But basically when the pop-up appears, it will kind of gray out the rest of the website. I really like that. Uh, and then people can't actually interact with the background. You can turn that on and off there. Got some close options up here, which we'll play around with in a second. You've got the repetition here so you can adjust um, how often it repeats to the people on your website. 
Now, if you would like some other options, say for example, um, some visibility options to decide when and where this pop-up shows, maybe you don't want it to appear immediately when someone lands on your website, maybe you want to add a delay, maybe you only want it to appear on certain pages, you are going to need Spectra Pro for that. I'll put a link up right now. You'll also find a link in the description. Of course, I really appreciate if you use my links, they are affiliate links, I will earn a small commission if you happen to use them. But I think you might be all right with a free version. See how you get on, see how you get on. Right, let's carry on. So yeah, as I said, let's make it look cooler. I mean, the white on the black is fair enough. In fact, let's, should we have a look at what it looks like? Should we just see what it looks like when it pops up and then we'll, we'll see if we can take it a bit further. I'm gonna click publish. And I'm gonna pop up an incognito window. In fact, first, let me just copy the URL of this uh, site. There we go. New incognito. Let's take a look. Oh, no, that's not, I wanted to get the homepage, please. There we go. Ah, there we go. The form's a little squashed there, and we're still scrolling a bit. That's because the form's squashed. Okay, a few more things we need to adjust. Let's go back. Okay, so it's, it's getting squashed because of the way that I've inserted it. What I think we need to do is add a um, container. Let's just stick a container in here gives us a bit more functionality. Let's pop the WP form into the container. Like that. Then we can adjust things like width and stuff over here. Uh, if we send that to full width, that's probably done it. Let me just double check on the layout. I think, yeah, that's all gonna be good. Let's update again. Let me, uh, let me double check. Let me grab this URL without WP admin. Go incognito. Let's take another look. There we go. That's looking better. Still got a little scroll. I think we just need to increase the height just a touch, just a touch. So again, we go into the pop-up builder. Let's stick this up to I don't know six twenty. That might be too big now. We'll go for six hundred. Okay. So as I said, I think uh, I'd like to make it look even. Better. And what we can do is we can adjust some of the styles. So we can add a background. I always like a nice gradient. There we go, look at that. Let's adjust some of these colors. Um, what have we got here? We've got these kind of real nice pinks and, oh yeah, maybe a red. I like the red. And then this gradient, we could change that. Oh yeah. I think now we need to make this text uh, white, so we can just highlight that, go to text, make it white. This one as well, let's make this white. This one, there we go. Let's adjust the um, the little cross, because now that's too dark. So let's go back into the pop-up builder settings, go to close button, let's make it white. There we go. Let's adjust the spacing, let's add a little bit of padding hang on where's it gone oh i accidentally adjusted the size there inadvertently what do you think 20 25 perfect oh we can even add a shadow oh yeah let's add a shadow oh i like that very nice back into the close button i didn't adjust the um the spacing oh that's where I want. I want the spacing on the close button. I want to increase that a bit more so that it's not too far in the corner. There we go. Wow, we this is looking sweet. Let's update. Okay, let's go back and have a look in the incognito. Let's take a look at what it looks like in real life. Look at that. That is a thing of beauty. The one thing you might want to do is maybe bring this um, this form up a little bit. It seems like there's a little bit too much space there for my liking. So let's just uh, adjust that as the final step. Just see what we got in here. We've got a bit of padding that we need to take out. Um, let's go into style and spacing. Bit of padding. Let me take all that out. It's going to add a little bit of negative margin up here. So if we go maybe minus. I'm gonna say 30. Okay, so there's the negative margin added. It's actually added it to all of them. I don't want it on all of them. I just want it on the top. So let's get rid of that and that and that. 
And I think we should be about done. Let's click update. And let's take a look one last time in incognito mode. There it is. What a thing of beauty it is. Absolutely love it. So good luck with your with your uh, pop-ups. Hopefully you can create something as beautiful as this. And um, well, we're done. So that brings us to the end of this video. What a fantastic looking pop-up, even if I do say so myself. I'd love to know how you got on with it. Uh, leave me a comment below. I do read all the comments that I get and I'll try to reply to as many as I possibly can. Thanks very much to Brainstorm Force for sponsoring this video. I really appreciate your support. Remember, you can find links to everything I talked about in this video, including Spectra and WP Forms in the description. They are affiliate links. I appreciate it if you use them. But until next time, good luck with your sites. See you later.